The professor said you looked upset. Did anything bad happen at school today? Not really. I was shown the trailer for the Assassin's Creed movie. I want to believe that this time we'll finally get a decent video game movie. I really do. But pretty much all of them have been complete crap. Why can't Hollywood produce a good video game movie? Why do they always mess it up? I don't really know why. You'd think something like this would be easy? There has to be a reason why so many movie adaptations of video games seem to fall flat. It's so irritating, and the trailer music was terrible. What was it? What song do they use? Kanye West's I Am God. Would Kid would have been much better? Yeah, it's never a good sign when a first trailer uses music that doesn't really fit. I assume this movie is coming out soon. No, it's coming out around the same time as Star Wars Rogue One. They're going up against Star Wars and they mess up their first trailer? That's not a good sign at all. That's why I'm concerned. Well, if you really want to know why most video game adaptations fail, you know where we need to go. Definitely. This is one thing I very much want to understand. Hey, fanbot, could you beam us up? Acknowledged, Mistress Chloe. Why video game movies almost always fail has an easy explanation, which doesn't speak well of the movie studios. Oh, what would that be? Most fail due to a total lack of respect for the source material and its fans. Many video game movie adaptations are nothing more than a money grab. Studio executives underestimate the intelligence of their audience. This is especially true when adapting a game to a movie. They think they can craft a flimsy story and throw in a few tropes from the game, and the fans will love it. This is what happened with the Mario Brothers movie. Then, there was the movie adaptation of Doom, and don't get me started with the U-Ball video game movies. I remember those. They were awful. Those video game movies that were more well received at least tried to stay somewhat true to the source material. That's why the Disney and Marvel Studio comic book movies are doing so well. While they do change details, they respect the source material and even draw ideas from them. Right. They don't assume their audience is stupid. This is why the 20th Century Fox X-Men movies were almost always flops, but the Deadpool movie was a big success. A few obvious things were changed, but they stayed true to the spirit of the source material in the character. That is also why I believe the Warcraft movie will also do very well. Yeah. So far it looks like the people making that movie really respect the source material, and don't underestimate the intelligence of the fans. As for this Assassin's Creed film, it really is too early to tell, but, a first trailer for any movie has to make a good first impression, otherwise, you send a message to the audience that you really don't care about the movie, and that's not the kind of message you want to be sending, especially not a movie releasing during the Christmas holiday, which historically is reserved for the biggest movie releases of the year. And, especially when you're going up against a powerhouse franchise like Star Wars. There's that too. Going up against Star Wars is either really ballsy or foolish. It could mean either the studio is confident the movie would do well, because it really is well done, or, the studio thinks that since the game franchise is popular that the movie will be too. It is an insult to the audience, to the fans, and explains the main reason why many movie adaptations of games almost always fail. The same can be said of live-action anime adaptations. Most made by Hollywood, those made in Asia tend to be better because they have a great respect for the source material. The space battleship Yamato live-action movie was different from the anime, but preserve the spirit of the source material. I don't know. I just hope this Assassin's Creed movie isn't a half-hearted attempt to capitalize off the popularity of the franchise. Despite their poor music choice, the production quality of the scenes in the trailer look very high. A lot of times it isn't the director who makes the trailer, though there have been many exceptions. As we get closer to the release date we'll start seeing the longer trailers. While that first trailer is usually the most important for its first impressions with the audience, 
It is the follow-up trailers that will really show whether the film will be just another typical half-assed adaptation, or something special. I hope it is the latter. While I'm not a die-hard Assassin's Creed fan I'd like to finally see a good video game movie. With video games now being made like movies one would think they'd adapt well to film. I hope both the Assassin's Creed and Warcraft movies break the bad video game movie curse. Me too. Are you hungry? I haven't had anything since breakfast this morning. Very. That's better. I really should stop skipping lunch. Finals are coming up, so I know you're kept pretty busy. You have no idea. But, yes it's a pretty busy time for faculty and students. Speaking of which, the professor doesn't hold any classes, yet he's gone most of the time. I don't know where he goes. I always assumed he was working on university business, but I've been hearing rumors. What sort of rumors? That he's been seen with the chief of the Gamesville PD, and that he's been going to some really dangerous places. There was that time we are accidentally teleported into fanboy territory. Maybe that wasn't an accident. Whatever he's up to, I'm certain he knows what he's doing. It's been a long time, Yulia. It has. Hasn't it? You have gone and made some powerful enemies since we last met. Is that what we are, enemies? How is Chloe? She's grown since you last saw her. But she's doing well. She's attending university now. I owe you for protecting her and taking her in. But, understand? I've got a reputation to uphold, and I cannot back down from the job. So I've heard. You call yourself the social justice warrior these days, I hear. I should stop being surprised by how much you know. I know enough, so how is this going to go down? Right now, it's not. I wanted to talk first to know how my little girl is doing. She thinks you're dead. It's better that it stays that way, no matter what goes down between us. Yulia, it doesn't have to be like this. She could really use her mother in her life. She's better off thinking I died a long time ago. So, tell me, where is the logic in taking away yet another person from her life? Besides, you know how this is going to end. You tried talking me down before, all those years ago. There's more at stake here than you realize. You thought he was dead, but he wasn't. He's been using this time to consolidate his power, right under your nose. Now he's more powerful than he was the first time you faced him. That doesn't mean you have to do what he says. For how much you pretend to know. You know so very little. His influence has infected everything around you and you don't even see it. You underestimate me. Didn't you think I wouldn't set countermeasures in place for just such an eventuality? Can you protect Chloe, every minute of every day, because that is who the target will be if I walk away or fail? I see, so he's using that tactic again, that's how she came to be in my care in the first place. You don't know how powerful he's become, I can't take that kind of risk, not with my little girl. I'm not giving up on you. Yulia, you may not realize it right now, but I'm your best chance for a normal life with your daughter. She doesn't need a mother like me. I disagree. Also, when you see him, tell the executive that I know what he's really after now. The ship of understanding cannot be used for the purpose he intends. His plan will not succeed. It didn't work back then, and it won't work now. Oh, my God.